Hello and welcome to another video of Can You Believe It? How are you doing? I'm Feng. I want to show face in my first video but I got this what do you call this? Quarantine haircut. Thanks dad. My dad cut my hair and he fucked it up so we just decided to cut it ball. He comforted me saying never mind quite cooling yeah. Yes now my heart also very cooling. I'm making video for you so I need some personal touch. Uh, like now, face to face, talking to you like a friend. If you are a UFO fan, you will love this video. Anything can happen in 2020. After Pentagon had admitted the authenticity of the footage taken by US Marine earlier, I did not feel surprised at all when I saw the news of UFO crash landing on you. Uh, sorry, crash landing in Brazil. Nothing seems too odd if it happens in 2020. If you tell me you saw a dinosaur, I will try my best to believe you. Before 2020, no chance, okay? I try my best to verify the information I gathered and only share with you the real footage and real information. Social media has started taking down videos on the recent UFO crash landing in Brazil. As you can see here, the title of this video does not even include the words such as Brazil. So what happened was, thousands of residents in the city of Mech or Mega, I don't really know how to pronounce it, uh, just north of Rio, reported seeing glowing lights in the sky on 20 May. With many uploading videos on Reddit and Twitter, the clips appear to show a flashing circular orange light moving across the sky at night. The UFO made a mysterious rambling sound as it hover and move across the sky. Let us take a look at the footage. Gente, eu estou na ilha do governador, na altura aqui de Nossa Senhora das Graças. Tem no horizonte lá uma luz que fica parada, já está parada há mais de 10 minutos ali, e no céu um montão de luzes, luzes piscam, diminui, aumenta. Meu Deus, Alex, tem um aqui embaixo. Tem um vermelho agora. É balão, não é, não é balão caramba, o balão não anda naquela velocidade, não. Não, vermelho, tá conseguindo ver vermelho? Caralho, mesmo, eu tô arrepiado. Aqui, aquilo ali não é balão, não. Caralho, meu, alguém filma essa porra, velho. A coloração é vermelha. Ah, oh, meu Deus do céu. Corre, viado. Tô arrepiado. Corre agora. red and crashed on a lake. Several helicopters and military vehicles rushed to the scene, not allowing anyone in and shooting down drones. As the incident reported by Vice, you all know the newspaper Vice right? Shortly after hashtag mega UFO began trending on Twitter, the hashtag disappeared. The public realized that this is not normal. Over on the UFO ready page, Posts about the Brazilian UFO also vanished. According to the Brazilian news, the local authorities and Air Force have no record about the UFO seen on Wednesday. But meanwhile, people started seeing military helicopters hovering over the area where the UFO landed. People started to freak out because there are thousands of people witness it. And when the thing started to get heat up, Suddenly, their videos and posts got removed, and news started to deny it, as we know how much news love viral content. Not only it gives them more sales of newspaper, but also more traffic on their website. So conspiracy started to circulating around the internet. The local was so curious and was trying to go to the site to have a look, but the area is heavily guarded by the Brazilian military. Gun shot fire in the air to warn people to stay out of the area. So some people very smart people trying to look at the area via satellite image. 
You can block the access from the land, but can you block the access from the air? The satellite image revealed a white glitch in the wooded area north of Rio. Many started saying the government has tried to edit the satellite image. I beg to differ. Have you guys seen the edited photo done by the government or done by NASA? It is definitely well done. Such a bad editing only will make the public even more doubtful about the truth behind this Brazil UFO. So in my own opinion, to me it looks more like uh, sunlight reflecting from something shiny. Something shiny? UFO? There are many videos uploaded online. Some were filmed just a few days after the video crash that took place in Mega. No one can be sure if they are real. Some people believe it and some people don't, even if there are video evidence. So with video evidence, government cover-ups trying to contain the information, and social media posts being strangely removed, I am 80% convinced this Brazilian UFO crash could be real. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section below and it brings me joy to share with you such unbelievable stuff. And hope you find joy watching it too. And if you do, please like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel, listen to Fang talks about unsolved mystery every Saturday.